This is the fourth screencast in a four-part introduction to using views in Drupal Gardens to make custom listings of content. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to make a custom front page like this one with three full posts displaying at the top of the page and just a list of titles and dates below. First, let's look at the default front page. Here we see a river of news. If I go to configuration site information, I can control how many posts that display here. I'll set this to three and save. Great, so my front page is only showing three posts. I can also control what gets promoted to the front page when I edit content. You'll notice in my admin content listing, I have more recent content than what is showing. Let's edit this quote, for example. Under promotion settings, I'll select for it to be promoted to front page and save. Now you can see the quote shows up on the front page. I'll just remove that test. We can get much more control over what displays and how it displays using views. Go to Structure, Views, and locate a disabled view called Front Page. We can simply click to enable and see how it looks. Now we're at a special page at the path Front Page, and it shows all of the content which is published and promoted to the front page. It looks pretty much like our normal front page, though you can see here it's not showing three posts because it has a different setting for that doesn't take it from site configuration. So let's go back and edit the view. Go to pager, click number of items, and change this to three. Another thing I can do with views is select only certain types of content. I'll add a filter, search for type, and select news. I'll also edit the title of the page to the latest news and save. So here we are at the default front page. I'll type in the path front page, and we can compare. They're almost the same except for the title. I'm ready to set this as my front page. Go to configuration, site information. To change the default front page, I just put in this path. Still, there's not too much difference between the view we made and our old front page. Now, I want to add the list of titles and dates of 10 more articles, and excluding these three up here using an offset. I'll show you how to do this. Let's edit the view. Here you can see we have a page view. I'll add a new display type and called attachment. It's sort of like having two views in one. The attachment will inherit all of the settings and we can override them. For example, I don't want to show the whole content with the title and the comments, etc. I only want to show selected fields. So I'll click to change the format and select fields. You can see I'm getting prompted with an error because I have to add fields now. I'll search for title and select, then date, and I'll select content post date. You can see below here, I've actually queued them to add. Then I'll adjust settings for each, one after the other, because I don't need labels for these fields, and apply. Now I can see the right content is appearing, but I definitely want to rearrange these fields with the date under the title. So I'll go up to field settings and select sort. Now rearrange the fields with the title first and apply this change. So we can keep most of the other settings. We still want to have the same filter criteria and the same sort criteria, but we do want to adjust these attachment settings. I'll click to attach to and then select page and click OK. And we don't want it attached before the page. We want it attached after. OK. Finally, we're going to change the offset. Click Items to Display and type in 3 for the offset. I'll check the preview quickly and then save. Now I can see my new front page. It looks much better. However, I want to remove this pager here. I'll edit the view and you can see I'm here in the page display and we can click to change the pager settings. I'll select Display a number of specified items, apply and save the view. Now our customized front page is done. You could do the same method for any page. You could even clone this front page you made here and alter the settings and even alter the path. In this screencast, you saw how you can get more control over how content displays in a view. You can display a full post or just specified fields. You saw how you can make attachments to views, and this was kind of like having two views in one. But using the offset, we were able to avoid duplicate content. I hope this quick series has given you a good introduction to the power of views. If you have any questions, please come to the forums at Drupal Gardens.